So if you're watching this right now, you should just shut it off, unsubscribe, and completely delete me off of everything you have because all of my content is completely worthless. Throw it all away. See you later. What is going on gang? It is Ian, your very friendly neighborhood Viking, coming back at you with another Motivational Monday video and look what I have. Ooh, check that out. This is my new Solar E-Type 1.7 FBB. Uh, this is my brand new guitar. Picked it up maybe like a month ago or something like that. Maybe not quite. Uh, it's the most awesome guitar I've ever owned and I'm really happy to be using it. And I will have a demo video of this guitar coming out probably in the next week or two. <clears throat> but enough about me, let's talk about you guys. How are you doing? How are you handling the uh, reopening of everything? Hopefully you guys are back to work or at least kind of semi back to work and everything's going very well. Uh, we recently reopened the business that I run and it is real, real strange. People are not liking the new rules, and uh, there's not really a lot I can do about it. You know, my hands are kind of tied, and I believe the fines are a minimum of $750. So I'm not, I'm not taking any chances. What I wanted to talk about today is something that I have noticed over the last few weeks, and uh, it's something that I really want to address. Before I move on to that. This is episode 20, so yay! I've been doing these for 20 straight weeks, which is awesome. All of you guys who watch these, I appreciate it very, very much. All the shares, likes, subscribes, all that stuff. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So thank you all very much for giving me the motivation to keep on making these. I appreciate you all, every single one of you that tune in and watch it every week. So, thank you. What I want to talk about is I've noticed a lot lately, there have been people that are giving me some shit online, which isn't weird, and I'm okay with it. You know, they're, they're giving me a hard time because my numbers aren't amazing. I don't have a ton of subs, or I don't have, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of likes on whatever, Instagram, or I don't have 100,000 likes on Facebook, or whatever it may be. People are taking those numbers and trying to invalidate what I'm saying by those numbers. I do like like four full-time jobs, kind of. You know, I have the band, and the band stuff is every day. I have my family business that I run, I have my own business that I own, and I do this YouTube stuff. And my YouTube channel isn't great. I try very hard to work on it, I try very hard to build it all the time. I'm, I'm trying. I'm doing the best I can with the tools that I have and the knowledge that I have to expand this YouTube channel as best as I can, as fast as I can, to as many people who can be helped by what I'm trying to put out. What does that mean to a lot of people? It means that my content is worthless. So if you're watching this right now, you should just shut it off, unsubscribe, and completely delete me off of everything you have because all of my content is completely worthless. Throw it all away. See you later. All right, let's 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 not be hasty here, okay? Let's, let's not be irrational, just calm down. Don't, don't unsubscribe to me just yet. With that, there are two sides, okay? One, there is a validity in your numbers. At some point, a lot of social media standing comes down to a numbers game. People think that if you have more of this, then you're worth more. Now, to companies and things like that, yes, you are. There's more eyeballs on you, they can advertise through you, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, when you have lots of numbers, when you have lots of subs and views and all that stuff, you are absolutely worth something. But 
Does that mean that your content is always worth it? I don't know. I really don't think so. But being someone like me, who doesn't have a lot of subs, or doesn't have millions of views, or anything like that, does that make my content worthless or invalid? Does that make all the things that I have to say pointless? You know, that you shouldn't listen to me because I don't have 100,000 subs on YouTube? Or I don't have, you know, this video is not going to get 2 million views on Facebook or something like that? And, you know, this is just me talking. I like getting in on the ground level to a lot of things. Because most of the time when you get in on a ground level, there isn't influence from corporations. There isn't influence from sponsors or endorsement deals. There isn't influence from political stuff. There isn't money involved. There's usually unadulterated, no bullshit, just straight up, here's the information to my knowledge as best I can and I'm just trying to help you. Most people who give out tutorials, whether it be makeup or car stuff or music industry stuff or any of those things, like they are just trying to help you. At some point when they started that channel, it was just about helping you. It wasn't about anything else. It wasn't about business. It wasn't about none of that shit. But people online think that it is. You know, just because PewDiePie or whoever, I don't know, these YouTube people, but like just because those people have millions and millions and millions of subs and, and do all that kind of stuff doesn't make them, doesn't make their content law. It doesn't make their content worthless. And I'm not calling out PewDiePie or anybody like that specific. He's just the first person I thought of. Um, it doesn't make their content worthless. It just means that, you know, they've been good at building a market. Not all of us have gotten that far yet. Depending on the kind of content you put out, in this day and age, there's a lot of research on what does sell. There's a lot of stuff on what doesn't. So there's a ton of variables of why maybe you don't have the most eyeballs on you that you possibly can. But as long as you're working towards it, I feel like that's the best you can do with what you have right now. And as long as you're working on it, you're doing fine. What I'm trying to say is that don't immediately write off the people who don't have the most impressive numbers. Don't immediately write them off like they don't know shit just because the numbers aren't there. They're probably giving you the best advice that you can possibly get. Is my advice the best advice that you can possibly get? I don't know. It's the best advice that I have. And the only reason I'm here is to help you guys. The only reason I'm here is to motivate you into doing something and to give you some insight on what I have learned in X amount of time. That's all I want. I just want to help. We don't have to do these videos. I do them. I make no money. Nothing I have is monetized. I just do them just to help. I just want you all to bear with me, at least, while I'm trying to build all this content, while I'm trying to build our name and turn us into a better brand. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that I am bullshit free the entire trip, that you're here. That's just kind of who I am. I don't believe in investing in products or investing in things like that that I don't feel comfortable with, that I wouldn't personally advise people to use. I try to be very clear and very transparent, non-biased, because that's kind of who I am and that's who I always wanna be. I'd rather just be honest about whatever it is I'm trying to help you guys with and not hype you up and sell you into some bullshit. So if you're a content creator, if you're a band, if you have an Etsy store, or if you're graphic design, whatever it is you're doing, if you are new to it, if you are bad at marketing, if you are new, I guess, if you're, if you're following or whatever, your base is low, just keep going. Don't stop. Don't quit. Don't listen to anybody who tells you anything different. You're doing what you feel is right, and as long as you're not hurting anybody else, hurting yourself, you're doing the right thing. So anybody who wants to sit there and talk shit, or whatever they got to say to you online, those people. They can get the fuck out of here. All right? I want you to do a little homework this week, and I want you to go out, and I want you to find 
some kind of YouTube channel or some kind of Facebook page or some kind of Instagram uh, page or something like that, whoever, you know, and something that isn't huge, something that like is just kind of starting to kind of break through, but it's something that you find value in and give it a shot. Don't worry about how many views they have. Just find something that connects with you on a good level and just give them a shot. Support them, share their stuff. I can't say that enough in every video. Make sure that you comment and you like and you share and you just interact with them. Most of these people are like us and they just wanna talk. Just try to find somebody who's new or up and coming or something like that and give their page, give their channel, give whatever they got to say a shot. If they're advertising something to you that they feel is right and it's something that they would use, it's probably a good idea. And to the people who are sitting there saying all this negative shit to me, you know, who the hell are you anyways? You know what, man? I can sit here and I can bitch and I can call you all types of names. That's not me. I don't care. One thing I am going to say, and I always say to people that say something negative to me, you know what I do appreciate? I appreciate the fact that you actually watched the video. Whether you have something negative to say to me or not, I don't care. Thanks for watching it. If you don't like it, that's okay. Not for you. Move on. We all try shit that isn't for us, and that's okay. I'm all right with people not digging my content if it doesn't apply to them or if it doesn't work for them. That's fine. It won't work for everybody, but the people that it does work for, I hope it works very well for them. That's all I can really say. I'm doing the best I can with what I got, and I will continue to do so, and I will continue to bring you guys the best content that I possibly can. I promise. Aside from all of that stuff, we have new songs, a bunch of them. We're actually going to be giving a shot at recording here in our rehearsal space that we call headquarters. And we might try to put a single out in maybe the next few weeks, depending on how stuff goes. So you might have brand new music from us uh, within the next few weeks. We don't know. If you are not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please make sure that you like our Facebook page. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. Those are the big three for us. Also, follow us on Spotify because that's more than likely where we will release our newest single first. So make sure that you're following us on there. That way you can hear it right away and maybe you can actually pre-order it or um, pre-save it. I'm sorry, that's what they call it on Spotify. So guys, thanks very much. I try to keep this week's video very short. Please, if you're new to the social media game or the video making or whatever, if you're new to the content-based industry, keep doing what you're doing. If nobody else believes in you out there, I do. Don't listen to all these people. Don't listen to anything negative. Keep doing what you're doing, and I'm proud of you. Nobody else is, I am. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you all very much. Happy 20th episode to us. Hopefully we have very, very many more. And uh, I'll see you guys next week.